What's going on guys, Andrew Pilikaki here, back with another video. Within the last couple hours, I've had to upload another trade video and it's involving the exact same player. I was sitting here, this is not my usual setting, I was sitting here trying to edit some stuff up for future videos and stuff like that, and Mike Hoffman was just traded again, this time to the Florida Panthers. We all know about the situation, it's out there in the media, I talked about um, the fact that I wasn't going to talk about the actual situation um, in the last trade video, and I'm not going to do it in this one either, but obviously this was a really good flip for the Sharks, and it honestly just look, makes Ottawa look a little bit worse, to be honest with you, uh, because this was like kind of like a, you know, behind the scenes type of, you know, trade and stuff like that, because I believe... Uh, the situation is is that the Panthers uh, and the Senators were talking about a trade and Ottawa wanted some people from their roster, but they weren't willing to give up those players. So I guess maybe the Sharks had some contact with the Panthers and said, listen, we might acquire him, we'll be looking for this. And then the Sharks said, okay, if you acquire him, we'll give you this stuff all over the place. But the original trade for the Sharks and Sens, and again, I'll pull it up for you guys. Um, the Sharks got Hoffman, the defensive prospect Cody Donahue, and a fifth round pick in 2020. The Sens got Mikel Bodker, uh, Julius Bergman, another defensive prospect, and a sixth round pick in 2020. Now here is the next trade. So the Sharks cleared up some space, that's clear. So this is the new trade. To the Panthers, Mike Hoffman again is on the move. A 2018 seventh round pick is also heading to the Panthers way. And then the Sharks picked up a 2018 fourth round pick, which is Vegas's pick apparently. Uh, a 2018 fifth round pick as well. And a 2019 second round pick. So the Sharks got a bunch of picks. Got rid of Bodker's contract, and from what we're hearing, they're going to make a run at Tavares. So they got rid of some money. They got a, a bunch of picks and a defensive prospect in Cody Donahue. And the Panthers got who they wanted, Hoffman, for you know some picks that they were willing to give up because they see themselves in a window to win now because Hoffman is a good NHL player. And again, I figured Hoffman would fit in with the Sharks pretty well, but he also could probably fit in with the Panthers. They've got a lot of scoring as well. So the Sharks look awesome right now because they got rid of some money. They got back a bunch of picks which they could package for other things if they really wanted to or hold on to them to get young assets. And they cleared up some money because they want to go after John Tavares or another free agent. So uh, this looks really good. Hoffman could have easily stayed on the Sharks, but they felt like they didn't want to deal with that situation. And the Panthers originally wanted the, him, so the Sharks were like, hey, we can give you this, but we need this in return. The trade happened, and oh man, this is just crazy this morning. Is he going to be on the move again? I will post about it if he does get traded once again. I could be recording this right now, and Hoffman could be getting dealt once again. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. Love to have more hockey conversations with you. Click the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any uploads. I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Peace.